What is the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a public library? For some, books and silence is all they think of. But libraries are so much more than that. Free internet, computer training, and access to employment and health-related information are just some of the services being offered. Before the establishment of this library, the community faced a number of challenges. The biggest thing, access to adequate information, especially to do with job search. Um, the other challenge that the community faced is that of skills development. And so the establishment of this library has offered the community an opportunity to have access. And we have a corner in the library. It's an exciting corner. We offer, uh, we call it the study hub. We offer examination exercises. And another exciting corner we have is our health corner, where we have materials that discuss diseases and how these can be prevented. So how do we get to a place where public libraries on the African continent are impacting lives in so many ways? In 2015, 13 African ministers met in Cape Town. The aim was to discuss the status of libraries on the continent. At the end of that meeting, a number of commitments were made. One of them was to equip African public libraries with resources that would make it possible for them to respond to modern day challenges. So since that declaration was made, how far have we come? Evidence in various countries suggests progress is being made. One of the main achievements has been technology transformation. In South Africa, a pilot project by the National Library has seen a number of institutions upgraded to meet the demands of the digital age. A number of facilities have received new equipment that includes computers, printers, scanners, and free Wi-Fi. The National Library has also collaborated with the South African Library for the Blind to serve people living with visual impairments. One of the beneficiaries of the initiative is a blind mother from Limpopo province. Bere Ramonyenyiwa is studying towards her master's degree. Her local library has been equipped with much needed assistive technologies and reading materials. For me, as an individual, I think the library is the most resourceful center that a person can use. Uh, as a student who is currently doing my master's degree, I have been assisted a lot by the people at the library. They are so friendly and they have assisted me in lots of journals. They have given me journals. They have given me research uh, methods of people. And um, for the community, I think the library is also very much uh, uh, important because once I went there, you find that there are children who, are, uh, who have got space all of their own, there are people who are studying there. So I think it is very much important. And uh, as for the Tulamela Library, uh, we in March, I think it was in March or April, if, I, if I'm not wrong, they have put on devices that can assist visually impaired people. So I think the library is very much important. The support from the library has encouraged Ramunyenyiwa to give back to her community. She runs a free computer training center from her home. The positive change is not just taking place in South Africa. In Namibia, the installation of computers in public libraries and basic training offered has led to job creation. Hi, I'm Yatoeva Basedme from Namibia, a regular user of the Windu Public Library. I've personally benefited by using the public library's computer facilities, which enabled me to start up my own business. I'm currently using, making use of the computers at the facility to use it as a workbench for my company. Uh, the, the library also uh, allows students the environment to come and do research and uh, use the first books on the shelves. Uh, the library also has programs where they provide uh, photocopying and printing on a, a low cost. We really thank the library for the facilities that they create for us. Aaron Jonas from Namibia, Koshagati. I'm a library user at Oshana Regional Library. When I started visiting the library, I did not know even how to use a computer, but since I was trained by the kindly librarians how to use a computer, I got skills and knowledge how to use a computer. Now I can search for my schoolwork and my home is free. It's not just in Namibia where employment opportunities are opening up. 
In the Seychelles, two public library users have been given support to start their own businesses. Hi, I'm Nelson Kwasi from Seychelles, a self-employed graphic artist. It is thanks to the National Library facilities and resources while I was studying and staff support to prepare my CV for a job interview, where I was recruited as a graphic artist. With experience, I have moved on, and today I have my own graphic business. The achievements don't just stop there. The training of librarians is also leading to youth empowerment. I am Hazel from Seychelles. It is thanks to the national libraries, facilities and resources which I made great use of while I was studying at post-secondary school that today I have managed to secure a place at the University of Seychelles where I am currently studying law. I also make great use of the National Library while I am studying at the university and I will also say thank you to the National Library that I have passed my first year of law degree. But with all these gains being made in various African countries, challenges remain. Public libraries often lack supporting resources, and in some regions, there are still no libraries to speak of. That's why in places like Cameroon, there have been efforts to take services to the people through mobile libraries. My name is Charlotte Melanie Esangi Eteki. I am a responsible in charge of Central de Lecture Public Yaoundé under the Ministry of Arts and Culture in Cameroon. This structure has two sections, adult and youth sections. Nowadays, people are not reading anymore because of social media and else. So to promote and to incite people to read in our country, the Ministry of Arts and Culture has provided one mobile library which helps to deserve Yaoundé and its outskirts. But we still need more to cover the rest of the 10 regions of our countries. All these initiatives taking place are not happening in isolation. They are part of Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. It's an initiative of the African Union, supported by the United Nations and informs member states' national development plans. Libraries acquire, process, organize materials and make them available to different classes of users. Without libraries, certain people's informational needs will not be met. In the National Library of Nigeria, for instance, we have had situations whereby courts of law require past editions of newspapers' publication to ascertain claims being made before the court. The library is the only institution that can satisfy that need. One of the aspirations is that in the next 50 years, Africa's citizens are technologically advanced, skilled, and well-educated. After all, in the words of the late, great Nelson Mandela, an educated, enlightened, and informed population is one of the surest ways of promoting the health of a democracy.